Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Guys, this will be a short one. We've been getting many questions about how you can power the EcoFlow Wave 2 air conditioner and heater because this is portable, right? So obviously you can do it with AC. It comes with the plug. You can buy the add-on battery. Uh, you can use a Delta power station, certain models, okay? A car charger, and guess what? Even a solar panel. All right, so I don't have a battery on here. There's no battery. And we're just going to plug this into solar and see what we get. Again, I'm told we will not get any kind of full performance. But let's see what we get. Let's check this out. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. So for this quick test, I'm going to be using the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel. We've done a bunch of tests on this. Um, it actually can not only receive power from the front, but it can receive it from the back. And I'll be honest, you know, you probably don't want to use this kickstand to do that. All right. But right now we're just going to use the front for this test. We've got... Um, First of all, very important, you're going to need the XT60i cable, okay? And you can see there's an extra pin here in the middle. Don't use an XT60 cable, all right? So we'll put the link in the description for this because obviously the Wave 2 doesn't come with the solar cable. I recommend getting some longer cable. We'll put a link in the description. You can click on it, get different sizes. This is the um, MC4 disconnector tool. It actually helps you easily disconnect the solar cables when you're putting them away. Um, and the other one that we use is, um, you know, when it comes to setting up a solar panel, you just want to make sure that you've got the angle correct so that you get the most out of the sun. And this little gadget here, as you can see, is called an angle finder, and it's got a dot in the front. And what you want to do is, it creates a shadow, and what you want to do is really just make sure that the shadow of that dot really gets into the center, and that will produce as much power as possible. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So as you can see, I've got the uh, angle finder on the panel. And if you notice, the dot, the shadow, is a little bit more to the left. So what it's telling me is, is I need to move my panel more to the other side, all right? And then that dot will disappear because it'll be covered by the sun, all right? So again, very helpful tool because, again, is it too low? Is it too high? So really like this. I'll put all these accessories in the description, but let me go ahead and get this set up correctly. So I adjusted the angle and, you know, going to be hard to see now because the sun is really, you know, that, that shadow is behind. It's in the dead center now, which is really good. So again, if it's wrong, you're going to see it come out of that target. All right. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, our panel is set up, and uh, here's our XT60i cable, right? Very important. Again, don't use a regular XT60 cable. Use an XT60i because this is now compatible with an XT60i. It actually has an extra pin, if you could see that. So besides the two, it actually has the one on the side. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in, and let's just see what happens. Will it start up? etc. Guys, I've never done this, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in now and, uh, you know, wait a second or whatnot, but it's, put, okay, it's in, and um, I don't think it's going to automatically turn on. I do believe I have to press the power button, so let's do that, and look at this. It's turning on, and as you can see here, it's defaulting to fan mode, 
and I do feel air. So check that out. You know, I mean, I think you can, you know, you're not getting heating and you're not getting cooling. So there's going to be no compressor turning on. But guys, this is a success. I mean, look, zero, you know, minutes remaining because, again, it's just being powered by a solar panel. And I just plugged it in and just hit the power button once. I didn't have to hold it down for three seconds like you have to when you have the add-on battery. But guys, I mean, I'm not going to do any temperature tests, but I promise you there's air coming out of this unit. That is pretty cool. Now, obviously, you know, if shade, you know, the, the clouds cover the sun or whatnot, I'm pretty sure this will turn off. But, wow. I mean, and guys, look. XC60 cable, no add-on battery. And there is the EcoFlow 220-watt solar panel. Quick test, but it does work. All right, I will take a moment real quick and put up the solar specs that you'll need to be in line with on the Wave 2. Right there on the right-hand side of the screen, I'm going to put up the solar specs for the Wave 2. And you just have to stay within range of those solar specs. All right, but let's take another look. Again, we're still running. Um, you know, I can drop the temperature. No, so it won't let me adjust the temperature, okay? It's not gonna let me put it on AC. It's not gonna let me put it on heat, right? If I go to mode, mode's not working, okay? None of these are gonna work. Now the fan, I can turn the fan up. So I'm on setting number three on the fan and I am feeling it. And let me lower the fan. So that's low. Medium. And high. That's not bad. I'm going to sit in front of it for a minute so you can hear the wind. So one, this is low. Okay. That is low. Medium. High. All right, you should hear that wind at least. Very cool, man. Oh, wow. You know, the, the sun hasn't been blocked yet. It's working. Well, guys, if you have any questions, post them in the comments, okay? I'd be glad to answer. But a success. All right, guys. Well, short and sweet, I hope the video answered your question. And if you have more questions, post it in the comments, okay? Uh, this is a really nice upgrade. I'll put the full review link in the description as well. But hey, if you liked our short video to answer this question, I hope you give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you take a moment and subscribe. We'd love to have you as a family member. And if you share our video, that helps us. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook up top. And check out our new Tesla channel. As you can see, we got a new Tesla. The video there on the bottom right. But guys, really, have a wonderful day.